With 5G deployments gaining momentum globally, the emergence of open RAN and new opportunities at the edge, communications service providers are accelerating their digital transformations, aided by advances in technology and new opportunities within a more open ecosystem. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and joining me now to discuss how HPE is supporting its CSP customers around the world is Antonio Neri. Chief Executive Officer of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Hello, Antonio. Delighted that you can join us on the program. Now, as the CEO of HPE, why are developments in the telecoms industry, such as 5G and Edge, exciting you right now? Yeah, um, well, telecommunications, uh, the industry as a whole, has played a vital role in powering the economy, um, in uh, in helping society move forward. And as I think about the development we see today and over the next five years, and it's going to be incredible transformative. To drive digital transformation, you need connectivity. And therefore, telecommunications is going to play a significant role in powering the digital transformation. Hewlett Packard Enterprise has long history working with telecommunications. We have provided infrastructure, software, and services to enable that. And as I think about the next decade, HPE, together with our partners, have a tremendous opportunity to change the way we work and the way we live. So very excited about the opportunity. And uh, obviously, we have a lot of work to do in front of us. But uh, I think, you know, we can do something very special and unique together. And we're seeing a lot of focus now on the telco edge. For example, both 5G and Open RAN have considerable potential to support future edge compute use cases. Why is the telco edge so important? Well, I think we need to go back a little bit in history and think about the evolution of computing as a whole. Um, you know, we, we obviously grew up uh, in a centralized world with a mainframe and terminals. Then we went through a more decentralized world with PC and client servers. In the last decade or so, we have been working and um, you know developing new technologies and more a cloud computing world. But as I think about what's happening today, I see the next decade, what we call the the new age of insights, and a lot of that action happens with the data created, which is at the edge. The edge is where we live, where we work, and that's where we enter in what I call the edge computing era. And as I think about the, the ability to connect people and things and process data where actually is created, that's a tremendous opportunity at the edge. And that's why we call the edge the next frontier, a big opportunity for all of us. And uh, HPE has tremendous technology from edge to cloud to really power this new architecture and ultimately extract insight of the data as fast as possible because ultimately the, the enterprises who move fast will be the winners. So for us, tremendous opportunity. That's why you see the evolution of the VRAN with edge computing and uh, all the wonderful technologies we are talking every day, but ultimately is about how we make it happen in a cost-effective way. As you say, edge is the new frontier. So how exactly is HPE helping telcos to bridge from the enterprise edge across the networks to multiple clouds? Yeah, so for us, uh, cloud is not a destination, it's an experience that we, we bring to all the applications and data wherever they live. And as we just talked about it, more and more applications and data will live at the edge. Uh, and so when I think about our vision as a company to become that edge to cloud platform as a service company, we have the opportunity to bring that cloud experience all the way to the far edge, not the, just the edge of the telco, but the edge of where we live, where we work. And so what we bring to the telco providers is a complete set of solutions from infrastructure to the software to virtualize that infrastructure, to orchestrate the right functions uh, and services to power these new applications. And as I said earlier, now we're going to live in a much more distributed enterprise. Uh, unfortunately, the pandemic has created lasting and permanent changes in the way we work. But to be able to connect all your edges and all your clouds in a software defined and autonomous way is essential to be able to scale at the level we need to. And that's why HPE is innovating in all aspects of that stack. And we are excited because we have comprehensive set of solutions that we can actually integrate whether it's the, the virtualization of the core or whether it's a, at the edge with VRAN and then ultimately even providing the last mile connectivity with Wi-Fi and, and other multi-protocol uh, aspects of it. 
And as you reminded us earlier, HPE has a long history of working with the telecoms industry. So why have you decided that now is the right time to combine all your telco related solutions into one business? Well, because customers are demanding it. I mean, you know, they don't like to bring together what I call widgets and they have to put it uh, together themselves. What they want is uh, complete solutions that uh, out of the box are able to be deployed and managed in a cloud native way. And so this is where, you know, HP had tremendous assets across the entire company, but we felt this is an opportunity we need to act, to act now and bring in every aspect of what we do into one integrated organization and architecture was the next, the next natural step. And so that's why we did it. Telcos, like other major enterprises, are transforming their operations and processes now, embracing a broader ecosystem of players. So how is HPE helping them in this critical effort? Well, HP has had a long history of working with partners uh, over the decades. In fact, this company has been built together with our partners. We have been, we are, and we continue to be a partner-led company. But ultimately, you need an ecosystem of solutions and, and partners that can bring to bear the best aspect of that innovation. And we are a catalyst for those partners to come with us and innovate together. So uh, for us, uh, continue to nurture that ecosystem. And by the way, new partner ecosystems, because obviously, uh, as we said at the beginning of the call here, uh, new use cases will be created when, the, when this new infrastructure gets deployed. We need to think about what new partners we need to bring to that ecosystem. So HP has credibility in the space. It has done it for decades. And we're excited to work with new partners and existing partners to deliver against this massive opportunity we see going forward. Good to hear. And arguably, the key to future success for service providers is identifying new revenue streams and maximizing their yeah. return on investment. So how can HPE help them with this? Well, HPE can help on multiple fronts. Number one, obviously, um, you know, harness the power of the data to create a new revenue stream opportunities, whether it's to sell new services or to provide better experiences. Number two, obviously, is to help reduce costs that ultimately automates everything in that in that experience that customers can actually go sell to their own enterprises. And last but not least, obviously, is all about helping customers drive profitable growth in this new world where HP has a significant go-to-market presence. And so we talk about the sell to and the sell with are aspects of HP does extremely well. And obviously we are present in 172 countries we cover obviously from the global 2000 enterprise all the way through the small, medium customers. And that joint go to market with our uh, telecom uh, partners is, is, a, is an, a key advantage because customers want a complete solution and also want to work with uh, the partner of choice. So we enable all that ecosystem. And I think HP is very well positioned to help our partners grow with us. And finally, Antonio, what's your outlook for the telecom sector and the role that HPE will continue to play? I'm actually bullish about it. I think the next five years is going to be incredibly transformative. Uh, if you think about today, uh, almost 14 million new devices and things get connected to the network. That's a challenge, but it's also a big opportunity. Once it's connected to the network, it actually computes, computes some sort of action and data. And so for us, getting the value of that data extracted quickly is a big opportunity for all of us. We live in a digital economy. The digital economy requires significant digital transformation, but how we make connectivity the center of everything we do and how we bring that cloud experience to the data, wherever it's created. But as I think about the future, I'm actually very bullish about it. Uh, it will change industries. It will change society as a whole. But also we need to remind ourselves we have to do it in an inclusive and equitable way. So there is a lot of challenges, but a tremendous amount of opportunities. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity to work with our partners in, in, in taking advantage of this change and then drive profitable growth for both of us. Antonio, thank you very much for joining us on the program and sharing your insights with us. Thank you for having me today.